New information tonight on the 17 year old changing lives in Uganda. Now earlier we told you about Christopher Flippo, a positively Oklahoma teenager and his mission to stock the library shelves of two schools in Uganda. Yeah, I talked to Christopher the day after his team returned to green country. Here's what he said about the trip and how the kids reacted to all of those books. Christopher Flippo was only seven years old when he first helped deliver 9,000 books to school kids in Uganda. Now 17, he's back delivering 11,000 books. The trip to establish and stock two libraries was years in the making for Christopher, his parents, uncle, best friend Turner, and Turner's mother, Stephanie Powell. You know, she wanted to help improve the situation and, uh, and be there for the kids because she's also a librarian actually. They traveled in this giant bus precariously positioned between stacks of boxes delivering books and supplies to Cobbs High School 10 minutes outside of Jinja and Chabazinga, an elementary school two hours further away. But we needed something big and heavy uh, just to get all the books there as well as the supplies. A treacherous journey involving three tons of supplies and poorly maintained roads. The difficulty was the potholes the size of the car. But they had a job to do and limited materials to use. The shelving we put together for the library was some really high dollar stuff, you know, it was uh, boards and stones. And Christopher says these kids were so excited they carried the books from the bus to the school and painted the shelves of their brand new library, waiting for the moment the door would open. About 50 high school students flooded a 20 by 20 foot room. They swarmed that and all of them brought a book out and, and we started creating outside. And it's that excitement about education that prompted the headmaster of the high school, Benson, to build this dormitory and furnish it with his own money. Some of the kids to get to that school, they have to walk several miles. And some of them are orphans and well, they sometimes they have to stay there overnight. Because life on the streets or in the fields can be dangerous at night. You don't want these kids to have any sort of bad situations that that would that would put them in danger. I'm just looking at the faces of these kids mm. and they seem so thankful. Yeah. Did something happen between you and, and one of the kids that was like, okay, this is this made it all worthwhile. Yes, I, I think there was a moment like that. He was a short little guy. Um, but his name was Dennis. He wasn't just going through the book looking for pictures. He legitimately started reading the first page. In all, this 17-year-old Union High School senior spent nine days in Uganda, changing lives with his nonprofit group, Open the World with a Book. But he's not stopping there. He already has plans to deliver even more books to other kids hungry to learn. The program is wanting to, to go to other places uh, like Ecuador, for example, or, or Venezuela. There you go. They just need some books that are in Spanish for that trip. Yeah.